While the bird soars in heaven, the tigers roar on the field. Out at home. Rookie Steve Kemp crashes home safely. And Steve Kemp crashes a fence. Did he get it? The ball bounces off, but the Tigers still go all out for the bird. Fedrich even has his own personal catcher, Bruce Kim. Doesn't catch many other Tiger pitchers because he doesn't hit much, but here he gets his first hit of the season. Like his pitcher, Kim doesn't mind displaying his enthusiasm. In a game this week against the Red Sox, Jason Thompson stepped up. And watch him now as he tees off for his 15th home run of the season. Thompson is another Tiger youngster who's generating enthusiasm in Detroit. That blast helped the Bird beat Boston for his sixth straight win. Although he lost his next start, the Bird's enthusiasm could be just what the American League will need this month at the All-Star Game. That late-inning victory kept the Bird's flying up in Boston. Baltimore swept three straight from the Sox and knocked the ball all over Fenway Park. The Orioles also silenced Red Sox power. The boomer George Scott who leads the league in homers drove this one to deep right center. It's deep enough but Al Bumbrey leaps and takes it away. The boomer wonders how far a guy has to hit a ball for a trot around the bases. He still can't believe it. This time it was Baltimore who did the slugging at Fenway. Lee May blast one to right. He wonders if he hit that one far enough as he watches. He knows. Lee also knows that the Orioles are hot and back in the pennant picture. Ron LaFleur races all the way to the wall and incredibly hauls in the ball. He can really cover ground 